So good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, Fala. Okay. So today our sharing topic is the dynamo. Some of the tips are uh, actually. So today we'll include the how to export the fun export function to the Excel PDF and so on, and then how to do the column chooser function, and then how to adjust the column, and then clean function, smart inspector. All of these are how to set up the bookmark. So to first, uh, I will sharing how to do the export. This one maybe the stock maintenance there. If let's say you got the stock list already, how you want to export to Excel, PDF, and others. So if let's say you go into the stock maintenance screen, you will search all the item first. After you search all the item, you will get the full list. So you can see the header there. I think uh, every every header also can uh, either one. So you just choose one, then you right click, use the mouse, right click, then you export the, you click, you select the export, then you can export to Excel. Uh, so Excel, we got three format. Uh. If let's say you use the WYS, uh, WYG, what you see, what you get, uh, that one this is. Okay, so uh, export to Excel and then export to PDF. So after you select this one, then you will get the result like this at the Excel report there. So maybe I try to show you one. Okay, for example, the stock maintenance. Okay, so you try to search the, all the item. If let's say you want to fill, you want to get all the item to export to Excel, then you can right click. I think you can right click like this. Uh, every header also can. Then you export to Excel. Okay, then you set where you want to set it. Okay, maybe you put uh, at the desktop there. Okay, after you do this uh, action, then it will ask you, you want to open or not? If let's say you want to open, then you click yes. So this is what you get. If let's say you want to do some of the analysis, then you can ask what I did so. Okay, so actually, what you see at the screen, then you export same, same at the Excel. Lah. So the call, okay. So next, next we will, if let's say just now you try to export the file to Excel ID, but if let's say your computer don't have the Excel software, how you use the Excel at our system. So you can go to the tools there, then we got the Excel viewer. Okay, I show you here. That means you, you can come to tools here, then you get the Excel viewer. Okay, so this is the screen set as the Excel, then you open. So just now I uh, export the file, then you can click here, then you open, select. So it will show the Excel from here. So all the Excel function actually is included at here already. So maybe you can try later. Okay, how to do the column chooser function? That's me now. Just now the spot there, maybe uh, you got ready to see some of the function at all the column here, but some of the info column, you want to drag it up. Maybe okay, I show you at here. Okay, so you go to the, this, Right click, same, which column header also can. You just right click, then you select the column chooser. Okay, so here you can see the column which you want to drag it up. Maybe you want to see uh, who create the item. So you can see this is the column to show this item created by who. 
And then if let's say you want to see edit by who before, here also can drag it up. So if some of the information, the sum of the column you don't need, you can click and pull it up. So you will no more to add the screen here. So if let's say you want to put it back, then you right click. So same column chooser. Then you can put, you just pull it to where, which, where you want to see. It. So you can see the, the arrow there, where you want to put. Okay, so you will see it here. Then you can adjust by your own. So this is the column chooser function. So here I got show you how to do it. So if let's say later I uh, will send you this uh, PowerPoint. So maybe you can try to review back. Okay, how to adjust the column? Okay, sometimes we will see the column where you may see one, maybe like that, maybe like that. So if let's say you want to one shot to adjust nicely, you can right click, then you click this one back fits all column. So it will adjust nicely for you. If you just want to adjust one of the column, then you just hide, you just right click on the column you want, then you click back fit. So this one just adjust one column on it. So here also will show you best fit. So you can try to do it. Okay. So our system also got a function to clone. Sometimes if let's say you create the item, but some of the information you, you, you wrongly to put before you have transaction for this item, maybe you can delete it before you you can clone it before you delete. So we can use the control keyboard uh, control alternate plus C. Then you can copy all the form. Then you can paste it. Or sometimes you want to duplicate some of the item. Because for example, this one. You want to, this one is the brown sugar color. Then maybe you can copy. So you will come up this one. Then you click OK. Then you Click add, you click control alternate V, you will paste it for you. Then maybe you want to change some of the information. After you change the sum of the information, then maybe this one you want to put not brown sugar, maybe it's black. Then the price, maybe you want to change a bit for the ring gate. Okay, you can change it, then you save it. So you will see, got two items already. So this is a one of the item just now. So this one will be easier for you if let's say you want to clone some of the thing or you can try to duplicate the, copy the sum of the like, document supply invoice. Invoice here also can clone. If let's say here every time the you you order the things is same, but you don't want to uh, use the time to one by one to key maybe many items here, so you can control alternate C, you copy. But this one, uh, if let's say you copy this one is a supply invoice to place to customer invoice there, cause the form is different. So you have to if let's say you copy this one is under supply invoice, then you have to paste back to the supply invoice here. So here just now the okay here cost just now the supply invoice is uh, already as this one. So you have to take note this one. So you have to change the latest supply invoice number. Maybe this one is a one, two, three like that. Then the date the date if let's say cost this is a you copy this one is just now that uh invoice date but for the latest one maybe it's uh, today is a 23 like that. So you just put that 23. Cause just now copy paste to here is the same one. So you have to take note for this tool. Then maybe the pricing got some different for some of the item, then you have to change. So if no, then you just save it. So 
it will be more faster for you to do the top to key in now. So this one I this one I clone this one, this one I clone one, then this one I paste one. So this one just use a while the time only. So no need to waste time to key in so many. Okay, and then we got a function smart inspector. Smart inspector is a function that is for you to if let's say you key in the supply invoice. So you key the supply invoice actually uh is the sup supplier cost them. Uh. So maybe sometimes you see the supplier the cost is increased already, but you have to uh change back to the sub stop maintenance there to update the price or update some of the information. Then if let's say you've got this one smart inspector screen, then it will be more easier for you to update the things if, when you key in the invoice. Okay, so this one for well, okay for example cost for just now I key in this one these two item. So when I key this one item, okay. when I key in the item, So this one, if let's say the price is firing already, but now I want to update the selling price. So you have to come back to here for usual, so normally the time maybe user will come back to here, then change the item, the price like that. So it will take time. But if let's say you've got this one, smart inspector actually at the tools here, you can click the smart inspector. Okay, when you key in the item, okay, you see, when you click this item, you key after you key in, maybe here I put one more, A3. So it will up directly to see the screen here. So you can move here, move there. So it will faster for you. If let's say here, maybe you now, if this one is a five, six ringgit, okay. So you will see all oh, the price now selling as 20 ringgit. So if let's say you want to update, maybe you can see, oh, I want to update 14 ringgit, then you can update the price one to five, then, you click yes so it will directly affect to the stock maintenance there okay so just now is the 20 ringgit so now you directly affect to here so it change update to here so this is a more useful function for some of the person always to uh, need to update the price at the when they key in the invoice supply invoice So next, you will see our stock there. Actually, you can see the competitor stock. So competitor stock is the must set at the stock maintenance there. Only we showed at the smart inspector there. If let's say you got this one, you can see the competitor. Means if let's say you don't have this item, how to uh maybe uh this one you can see what item can replace for this. So this one you can go to here. You can set up the competitor stock. So you can check here. After you set here, then when you key in the invoice here, system you see. So here, smart inspector. Here you can see the item. If let's say they got competitive stock, here you can see. And then here you can see the sales history, purchase history, and the statement there. All the information can all show up at the Spark Inspector screen here. Okay, how to set the bookmark? Okay, this is the bookmark quite useful. 
if let's say you some of the screen you always to use one so you can if let's say stock maintenance you always to add the item or change the price one you can click the bookmark here and then you bookmark this place so after you bookmark all the things already maybe you want to review back what you already bookmark then you can come to bookmark manager there to adjust so some of the things maybe you don't need already man, then you can delete or you can adjust which one is the first priority then you can adjust by yourself so after that if let's say sometimes you will see here always will show the most visited screen when you log in the dynamo you will always see this is uh, always show the most visited one but if let's say you want to see when you log in the dynamo you want to set here to show is the bookmark you can come to common module here uh set up we got the company default setting here and you can come to this one system behavior here to set it as a you want the system menu means this one system menu you want to show as a most visited one or show as bookmark so if let's say you show as a bookmark then here always will be show bookmark if let's say you show most visited one because default default system is a show most visited so that's why here always will, you will see it's the most visited so that's why here you can uh, set it as a show as bookmark So here you can see, so this is the thing, uh, maybe later you can review back at the slide there. Okay, and then we got uh, one more function is the document posting inspector. This is when after you key in uh, some of the document, maybe you want to see the account, how to do the posting. So you can see if let's say maybe you key in okay maybe we will try to key in one of the document like just now the supplier invoice okay this is just not what i key so if let's say after you key in you don't know this one actually how the account posting for some of the user maybe they don't have the account knowledge so you can come to the tools here we've got a function called document posting inspector or you can use the shortcut key control shift d okay it will direct to effect to show at the screen here you can see this one is document uh, supply invoice 22 so here you can see this uh, invoice how to do the posting you can see this one actually uh, this is the creditor so you will see creditor you will credit 1100 okay for the purchase cost uh, bottom this part is the uh, item you purchase now so system also will show uh, your purchase item how much so you can see this one the posting how debit how credit okay maybe i try to do one more thing is we do the discount Okay, maybe this cow I put 10%. So when I save it, so you can see how to system do the posting. Okay, you can see this one is a purchase discount. What I just now set the 50 ringgit here will direct to see 50 ringgit. So this is the way how you do the things. Okay, cost last time it got the GST error. Here you will see the GST transaction, how to do posting to the uh GST test code, but now uh, we don't have the things already, so that's why we take out already. So actually now you can do is uh, for account transaction, the posting, how to do the posting. Lah. Okay. And then the shortcut key. Okay, sometimes we uh we create a document. We always will use this one, add, edit, and delete. 
and preview. So here actually we got the shortcut key. You can use the keyboard. Cause some of the user they maybe uh, most likely to use the keyboard to key in more faster. So if let's say now you can see app, we have to use the mouse. If let's say you use the keyboard app too. So you can see, okay, so we will more faster if you click F2, yeah, delete. Okay, F3, click delete or So this is the way how to do the shortcut. And then control S is the self and then control U is the cancel. Okay. And then here, just now the tools, they also got uh, many shortcut key. If let's say uh, you want to use the shortcut key, you can try to review at the before you select, maybe you can try to, as time, you can try to use this one shortcut key. Lah. Bookmark actually just now also got the shortcut key. And then refresh the data for Smart Inspector also got the shortcut key. So this why, okay, like just now the bookmark, I click Control K. So this is so this is the way later maybe or maybe this one cause some of the issue, but am I this one later we'll check. So okay, this one control K, control shift K. So this is the way how to use the shortcut key. If let's say now you want to uh, add the bookmark, top bookmark just now you have to use this one, control K, you can use control K. Okay. So for here, just now how come for the uh, error cause here cannot do the control K for the system. Here, system menu cannot do the bookmark. I have to take note. So you can do the bookmark at the screen after you select maybe a uh, supply invoice the, or purchase PO here. So you can control K to do the bookmark. And then you can control shift K. Okay, so uh, at our system, the stop maintenance there, we also got the search function, basic search and advanced search function. Okay, for basic search, okay, here actually is the basic search. This also the basic search. Okay, for here, if let's say you want to search by barcode, by article, by description, also can. So here, if let's say for you want to search the full list, we always will insert this percentage and we click search. Okay. So if let's say you know the item is start from A, the stock code, stock ID, then you just put insert A, it will show A. Okay. If let's say you know the stock is includes some of the number, uh, maybe 11, then you can insert like this. So here you can see all the, if let's say the stock ID got uh, this double uh, one one, then you can see you will search all one one here. But if let's say you no put no insert the percentage, you put 11, you will not search. Cause this one is for, means uh, your search the stock ID is start from one one. Okay, for a one search here, we also can search like, uh, if let's say you know the UOM ID is a unique, then you can key in the unique here, then you click okay, then we will search all the item, the UOM is uh, unique, this one, 
still need. And then after you search it, you can clear it. You search, then you can search like the description one. Description one, maybe you want to see uh, maybe some of the item like the coffee. Then you click OK. Then it will show all the coffee here. So this is the way to search by basic search and the advanced search. So this is the way if let's say you know the category also can search like this. Okay, for here, we can do the document set and look the recurring record. So how we do it? For example, sometimes the user, they do the payment voucher. They do the payment voucher for other payment like that. Cause the payment voucher is a uh, every month need to do one for the like salary or the renter. Okay, maybe I put the renter. Then we key in the amount is maybe uh, one thousand. So this is the uh, maybe I pay by online transfer. Okay, so also one thousand. Then we can do the remark here. This is a uh, for renter. 2021 20, uh, at March, then we set it already. We put the pay in this one before, maybe ABC. Okay, we set. So this is for the March uh, render. Maybe Apple, uh, if you do it on next month, then you can add, before you add this one, maybe you can set it, the recurring, you set it. So you can remark, this is for render. Then you save, after you save, so next time you create a new one, you can look. You can look the last time what you set the bookmark. This is the document bookmark. For just now, this is the screen bookmark. So here we can add ID, then we can look back. Uh, last time you set recurring one, then you copy as new. So this is the way you can insert. Of course, this one maybe is Apple ID, then you just change Apple. So this is uh, maybe next month ID, is the May. Then you set. So it will be more easier for you. Because now I try it's a one item only here. If let's say you got few items, then that means is it you every month you have to key in maybe 10 lines or uh, more than five or more than 10. You every day you have to key in. Because you, you, you key in here, it will take time. Maybe you here you see uh, you need to search what item you want to key in, then you want have to search one by one, it will take time. But if let's say you set the recurring already, if you set the recurring, then you can put, so you set already, then next month, you will more easily, you just search back here, then you copy as new, is it, this one is faster already. You no need to one by one unless you've got some of the figure you want to update or if let's say you use the chat the chat number you have to change out at the reference number here so this is the way to do the self recurring actually this one same function like just now the shortcut key like, depends on the user what you want to use uh. Because some of the user, they maybe don't want to self recurring. Maybe they just want to control alternate C, copy it. Then you can control alternate V to paste it. Like that also can. So depends on what, which one you want to use, which one easier for your operation. So this is the way, so just now I say, after you got set, then you sure can look map for you. Okay, and then 
recurring, have to take note, you have to uh, change the remark because impossible you every month to do the render for uh, March month. Uh, and then the date impossible every every time you do the same date. Uh. So cost you do this one for March, sure put the date is March. Uh. Then next month is the April, then you put the April date. Uh. Okay, so here we got one more function here. Actually, some of the user, they will didn't notify here. Actually, we got a filter column here. This one filter column actually same as the our Excel like that. Lah. So maybe here you search all the item ID. So sometimes you will, if let's say you got many items, you have to scroll, 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 it will take time. Lah. So maybe you know the sum of the keyword for the description. Maybe you know the brow. So here you directly to filter on the your searching listing. So the searching listing here got just now 100 uh, eight defined item. So after you do this set, uh, this step, uh, this step, this filter, you will see eh, this one only we will faster for you to check it. This one actually brow uh, the description got brow one only uh, five item only. So here actually you can see uh, this one icon you can select because this one you can see brow is content. That means the description is containing a uh, brow one. If let's say you want to search the brow, it does not contain brow one. You can search like this and then uh, begin with brow or end with brow also can search here. If let's say you don't want to change, if let's say after if cannot, you after you change, then you put back the original one. And then here you have to clear the filter. Okay, because here if let's say here sometime some of the screen they will no refresh. So maybe when next time you log in that same screen it will filter at here so have to take note after you do some of the filter like just now the brow so have to take note here you catch to cross it to close it and then here you can Okay, and then here you can see uh, here we got a triangle icon uh, sim icon here. You can click. Here also can do the filter. You can filter by black. Also can. Cause how come this are? Uh, Cause some of the user maybe they don't know, they maybe to hide the filter row. Then you cannot see the filter row. If let's say you want to show back the filter row you can click show auto filter row then you can see this column here so this is the function is hidden here and then you can find panel here also can find it if let's say you know the keyword this is another way to search mm -hmm. but this search also have to make sure you got the full list. You don't. Uh, if let's say every time you come in here, you cannot directly to search like this. Uh, cause if you don't have the data from to here, and then here also send. You cannot search like that. You have to give the some data for system from here first. Then you do the filtering. Okay, so this is the way I just now I show the find here. Actually, you can click here, then you can see this one find. Okay, like this one. This find actually not by the just the call this call the uh, not either one column only. You can search like for like let's take. Okay, so every column got 
leaves one, it will highlight yellow for you. So this is the way also will more easier for you to do some of the checking also. So cost just now for filter here is the one column by column. For here is by all column. Okay, after that, you also can do the grouping. Cost here share the user, uh, some of the user maybe they got not this. Here you can do the grouping. Okay, you see this one. If let's say your item got to the grouping here, the grouping by brand or group or category, so you can choose it to group it here. Then can by many level. You can do it by like this. So you can see this accessory for uh this group got few category inside or brand. So you can do the grouping like this. So after, if let's say you don't want to do the grouping, you have to take back to here also can. So have to careful to pull it. So if let's say you don't want to show this one also can, you can hide the group by box. So you will see the group box, uh, the grouping box there. So you can show or hide. And then you can group by this column also can. You can use this one. If I say just now the category, you can group by this column. So it will prompt it to here. <clears throat> okay, so this is the backup. This is the most important for every user. So, cause every time they hard working to do many data key in, but some of the user maybe forget to do the backup. So they you can try to you can key in. Actually, we you if let's say you at this system menu screen, you can key in the backup keyword. Then you will see the database backup. So you can click the process to do the backup. Okay, so where your data backup, your backup will be at this path, this directory. So you can copy this directory, then you go to your computer, then you paste to here, then you can see your backup here. So this is the first way to do the backup. But this back, if let's say your PC, not the server main PC, you also can do backup, but your backup will not at your workstation PC. Your backup will be at the backup file, will be at the server main PC there. So this one have to take note. For, uh, even your backup at the workstation PC, but your, your backup, file is at the uh, the server there not on your pc so you have to go to server the pc there to fire up this one your backup file that's why if let's say you know your backup you got backup already so you have to take note the backup date and time here that's mean you will know oh this one is under your backup one, then you will know uh, if let's say you want to restore back, then you can try to ask us to, uh, you can call back to us to help you to do the restore also can if let's say got any issue. So this is the way to do the backup. This is the first method to do backup. Okay, so you will see it is. Backup database will set on the server PC, not as workstation PC. So, and then another way is sometimes if let's say you log up the system, you will see the option. So here you can click the backup. So before you log up the system or exit the system, you can click this one process. 
to do the backup. Then you click OK, system will close. So this is the, another way to do the backup. So sometimes of the user, maybe they okay, maybe they this one uh, cause just now I log out or exit the program, sure will prompt this screen. Uh. If let's say some of the user they want to show back this screen, cause they maybe they select close and don't show again. That's why every time they log out the system or exit the program before they, they didn't show this option already. So how to use set back this one? You can come to the tools here, then you get this one option. Here we can check this one, uh, show further action before exit program. Okay, now I uncheck. So I save it. So now I log out. See, didn't show any. So this is the way if let's say some you want to uh, set back again the option, then you can use this one. So here now I try to check back here tools option. So I check here, then I set it. So when I log out, it will show this one. Okay, so this is the way, my second method, also same as just now. Okay, so another one more way is backup from the Dynamo server socket. So this icon actually at the server PC only. You will see the icon at the server, you can see this one, Dynamo server socket at the bottom there. You can right click and then you click show. Okay, you click show. You will see this one. Right click, you click show, you will see this one. Here you can see the database. Then you click backup. So you can select, you select the database which you want to backup. So after you select, here you will see uh, the database name here, target database. Then you set where you want to set. If let's say you want to save at your D drive, then you just save it. If let's say you want to, cause this one, we just put the name on it. Not like just now the, cause this one you save inside the, here you can see the, here we got put the date and time. If let's say the user want to put the date and time for the backup, at the name there, you can you can put the name here. Got the date today, what date, year, month, and then date here. Depends on the user what how to want to insert up, and then you just set it. So you back up. So this is the way to do backup at the server socket here. So here, after you close it, then you can come to your D drive here. You can see this backup here. So if let's say you want to backup to your external hard disk, pen drive also can. So if let's say you know how to back up, this is the way you can to know. If let's say you don't know, and then how to check the version upgrade. Cash. Actually, uh, if you got not this, when now you open the Dynamo, you will prompt this screen or not. If let's say you got prompt this screen, it will auto show you uh, now we got what version, what hotfix, and then what build to update so every time you if let's say you 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 found this one then you can select to which one you want to update okay if let's say you're always you log, log in the dynamo didn't show just now the 
screen to um, inform you to update it's okay never mind here actually system here got if let's say you don't have then maybe you can click help here and then uh, you can check for update here you can see check how fix uh, you've got a new hot fix existing here is uh, like you can see I, my version is hot fix six here actually we show hot fix six that means you can uh, now I can uh, update to latest one is the hot fix seven so if let's say uh, you don't want to update also can depends on you because if let's say you you don't know what it is it got help for you uh, for this version is it help for you or not you don't know if let's say you want to know the detail for the update you can click here to view the details okay you can see uh here you can see this one hotfix 7 what uh our rd colleague they got update for this one you can check out. is it this one will got helpful for you or not if let's say got helpful for you then maybe you can try to update uh, like what uh, the enhancement what the issue they uh, solve what or you can check from here so this is the release on few days ago uh, last week so the coming soon what we also is ready for build 8 uh, hot fix 8 so if let's say you want to update you can come to apply hot fix then you click yes okay so here you can see just now uh after you click the apply hot fix then you have to click the hot fix off and then here we will show you now the hot fix file for is available so actually we got three type of the update the first one we have to update the hot fix and then second is the update and the last one is the upgrade so what's the difference for hot fix is a uh, maybe we uh to solve uh, some of the small issue or some of the enhancements then we can click the update so this one hot fix uh if let's set up one of the pc they upgrade to the latest version like hot fix 7 but some of the pc uh they no need to use the some of the new hot fix function then they no need to apply just for some of the pc need to apply it so even some of the PC, they still using the uh, hotfix 5 or 4, but one of PC already update to hotfix 7, then uh, it's no issue. One. So you still can use even you using the hotfix 4 or 5. But for the update, update is the, if let's say one of the PC already update to the, okay, for example, <clears throat> Okay, so you can see uh, just now I show is the hotfix 6, means we got hotfix 7 now. Even uh, I got another PC linking same data one. So uh, already using hotfix 7, but now I using hotfix 6, also no issue one. But if the update, one of PC maybe uh, update to build one already, then another PC have to follow, cannot uh, say don't follow, but hotfix, you can select the need to follow and then the upgrade version okay how to upgrade version okay if let's say you got if uh for every step you have to update the first one is the hot fix second is the update after update this two then you can see the upgrade then you only do the last step upgrade to a latest version that means if you want to upgrade to a later version you have to make sure is it the build version is the uh is it uh your your build is until the latest one already or not so that's why here you have to take no no if you have a uh, upgrade to the latest version before you have to make sure no more the update or hotfix available first then you can only to upgrade the latest version because the upgrade is the big enhancement for our site 
So uh, that's why you can see now uh, we our version is 2021.1. 20, for next, we will be on the 2021.2 20, soon. Actually, uh, we got half fixed for a few weeks one time, and then uh, the build maybe got a uh, three months one time. But for the version, we depends on depends by portal or in. Okay, so this one. If let's say you're not sure you want to update or not, when you before you up before you click the apply update or apply the whole fix, you have to check first of all is it you want to uh, apply or not. But for apply this one hot fix or update, uh, one more one more you have to take note is you have to renew our cover. If you no renew our cover, you cannot enjoy the version upgrade or update. So if let's say when you click a uh, check for update after you click the apply or apply upgrade, if let's say you can see the message like cannot upgrade one, then uh, you have to renew the cover. Lo. Okay, how to check the renew cover? You can check from here, here. you got the license information. Okay, we can see the cover at here, the expired rate date. So if let's say the days to expire is already a uh, few months or day, one, even one day or two day. If let's say here the expired date is uh, already expired one. Uh, so you cannot to do update, you have to renew because you are not a valid cover subscriber already. So this one you have to renew. If let's say you don't have renew, then you if let's say you want to renew, you can call back to our admin or uh, our colleague who in charge of case before, then you can contact us, then we can uh, issue the quotation for you. Is it okay? You see the price, if let's say okay, then you can call back to me, uh, call back to us, then uh, we, can, we will uh, we will re replace the light cover for you, then uh, you can update to the latest version. Okay, so this is the way you have to take note. So just now uh, we got do the upgrade, then when after you click the hot fix, you will show this one. You uh, this one when download the update you have to take note until the finish for 100 and then the server socket if let's say you got update the dynamo you have to take note also have to uh, upgrade the server socket as well so at the server socket here you can check the update is it got new update or not okay here you can see uh, got update file so you have to click the update Same, this one also like just now I mentioned, any cover expired cannot enjoy the version update or upgrade. So here as I just now will show, just now the help here, you can check the version of view or upcoming release and then the version history. Maybe you can check uh, previous to any update, you can see the version update release when all the what we already faced, we can check from here. Okay. This one, how to use our Team Weaver quiz support. If let's say the PC you uh after you you want us to do the support, but you don't know how to install the team weaver, actually our system is ready the team viewer you just click the help here you can go to you can click help here and then here you can see the team viewer quick support you just give us the id then the password 
we our help desk colleague will know then uh, they will lock access your PC to do some of the support lah. if they say you've got any question you want to ask but to know how to explain to our help desk colleague then you can use the team viewer then you can show the screen to them then explain then they will uh, to do the support for you so this is the way if let's say you don't know how to install team viewer it's okay never mind we have the team viewer quick support here okay how we do the check license information because sometimes you maybe the previously your your license is uh one user or two user but after that maybe you got add on the new you license for concurrent user maybe you add one more uh, account user or inventory user you have to you want to know it hey, i got how many user you can go to help here license information you can see the license uh got how many user you got and you can see and then what uh special module you got buy from us you can check from here and then is it the market price will expire soon you can check out or can check from here the license information and then what your license key will be here so this is the uh today presentation so uh, if let's say got any question you can ask thanks Afa, for the very useful up uh, updates for us and actually there's a, quite a number of questions uh, we hope that this question also can help uh, the other attendees so i will read the questions and then Afa, uh, answer for us okay some of that is uh, there's two uh, usually is, uh, some of that is regarding the recurring function there and then the other is about the uh, update and upgrades mm -hmm. So there's one question asked, is the safe recurring is applicable to stock transfer and delivery order also? Okay, wait a <clears throat> That's mean uh, stock transfer and stock. Yeah, because just now we show it's a payment. Okay, voucher. actually uh, the screen is read, mm -hmm. you can do the safe recurring one for the stock transit or stock transfer. If you see the icon, this one, self-recurring, self-recurring, sure can do the root recurring. Okay, for example, this one. This one is, uh, I, do, I did it before. So you can set the recurring, then you can do the remark. This is what stop transit remark. Maybe I put ABC here, then I do self. So you can click and then you can look. So this is can at least when if let's say you got see these two icon, that means the transaction can do self recurring and root recurring. For hot space, we have large data, but the internet need very very good. <laughs> what if they need to log in urgently, but the hot fix fail because of the internet? Any other option to log in first without hot fix to update? for this any update or hotfix update or build update if can you try to do not the on the uh, voila, not the peak hour la. maybe you when your free time then you only update la. so if can you for hotfix actually you can update at the server first then other user will not affect so for which user you want to update for the hotfix then only apply so others will not uh, affect so if let's say the build or version upgrade so also same have to select the time uh, not so pick our one to up, upgrade or update because this one we cannot expect the every user use the same internet uh, speed that's why we can you try to any upgrade or update you try to do at the server first then others maybe you slowly one by one to do because we cannot expect the the network speed is same because some of the i if i know some of the areas still using stream make stream still uh the speed sure slow a bit uh. 
And so, actually, the hot flakes are will not will not affect us to use the dynamo la. You actually, if that time is not convenient to up update the new hot fakes, you can temporarily close it first and then continue using. But every time when you log in, it will still pop out the message that say that there's new hot fakes. Oh, that one. If let's say you don't want to see on Max, you actually. Okay, I share the screen now. So just now, uh, if let's say. If let's say you log in, you prompt the screen like just now, this one. Uh, actually, we can. Okay, I check that for you. Okay, you can see this screen. Uh, if let's say uh, next, you don't want to show this uh, notification. Next, not in here, we can select uh, after 30 day or don't want to show, also can for this one, this notification screen set up. So some of the user that can, if let's say they are the admin user to set up the user one, if let's say uh, you can show, you can untick here, cause defaults should be will show la. And then if let's say some of the user that will not need to know the new uh, update or hotfix for the common user, so you can untick. So for them, you just maybe notify for the user who in charge to do the update or upgrade first one, then uh, they only show the notifier. Or you can select like just now, every 30 days or every day or never, you can check, you can, we, can, we can select this one. So the conclusion is actually hotfix is depends it's not necessary you have to uh, select to update la. but if you see that there's a really there's a needs that you want to upgrade for the hot breaks then you can choose the convenient time and uh, at the better internet space but if let's say uh, they want they want to upgrade and update la, is this as a necessary is this, is this as a compulsory must uh, upgrade or update only they can use Dynamo. Actually, it depends on the user. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Yeah, it's, it's that's why we encourage you to look at the details that just now I've got show. If you want to understand on the in, on this version, what is the major update, and is that one is really applicable to you, then you consider to update. If not, then maybe you can hold on first. But at least uh, have to renew uh, if you know renew what update or upgrade also cannot do. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that is the yeah the you this have to have the valid, valid, valid <laughs> smart cover la, valid smart cover. This is the main point. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because uh, if uh, your smart cover expire and then you also urgently want to do the upgrade or update and then you dial in to call us, we will still we will check this first at the first place we got before we proceed to do the upgrade or update la. Okay, so uh, John has also some questions to ask about the update version. Hi, John. You are there, right? I will let you to talk. Hi, morning. Morning? Yeah, uh, yeah my, I think that why answer me already that question. Oh. Maybe we can also... Um, Maybe we can also ask the questions here so we can let others attendees to aware of this question. Uh, so I was asking about the up, upgrade version. Okay. Yeah, I thought of, uh, let's say sometimes you just accidentally update the version. So is there any way to downgrade it? Just like uh, uh, Chen Fat mentioned, once one system is updated, the rest have to follow the version, right? If let's say the data already updated, then others have to follow up. But uh, if let's say you download what the data not yet to update, then maybe you can try to call our site, see can how to uh, downgrade. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, the I mentioned there's a backup file, then we can go back to the compatible version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, John. Uh, is that all the questions that you want to ask? Another, I saw you have another built-in uh, team viewer function, is it? Yes. Uh, is it 
same function as the normal team viewer or is only a limited function for that remote desktop? Same as the normal team viewer, but this one you know open we you 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 have to open for or we only can access your PC. If you know log it, you know uh if let's say you know open we cannot access one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we no need to install or do any additional setting, just click on it then it will this one maybe some of the workstation PC they don't want to install the team viewer, then uh, you can use this function. But if let's say you don't have installed the maybe some of the users they want us to help install the workstation dynamo, but that one you have to install first, uh, install the team viewer, then we only can help you to install the workstation PC for for the dynamo. Because uh, the team viewer is inside the dynamo now. Uh, for this one, if let's say for support, uh, that's one you can use that one. Uh, but you want us to install the workstation PC for the dynamo, then you have to install by your own team viewer yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to have the system in order to have this. That one is different. Uh. Another okay, question okay. to ask, is there any function can change the stock SKU code? But actually, it's the stock SKU cannot change or not. Is like this stock ID? Once we create stock ID, yeah. Stock ID cannot change. Uh, if let's say barcode can change. Uh. If let's say you set the item already, the stock ID is cannot amend one. Unless you don't have the transaction, then maybe you can delete the item, then you can create again. Uh. If you got any transaction, then you cannot edit the store ID. Already. If the version update have accidentally upgrade on outside online PC, is there any issue on the server? This one, if let's say they update the hotfix from outside, it will keep uh, the data will update la. If let's say they upgrade the version, need to upgrade the server socket, even they upgrade at the outside, but the server socket still no upgrade one, then they will not affect the server one. But if let's say for hotfix, uh, they update at the outside already, then the server, the data also will keep update as well, I think. So this one have to take note, no? if let's say, uh, that's why the user setting there you have to uh, set the access right for the user if it can do the upgrade or update or not. Maybe I show the screen here a while. So when you set the user setting, is it you want to allow them to perform the version upgrade or update? So this is the depend on the your company there. Is it for is it can any user can access to to know the version upgrade or update, or is it allow them to do the update or upgrade or not? So this is depends your your site. So this one, uh, usually we will set it uh, allowed to version upgrade, uh, no version update and version hotfix uh. The upgrade we will set uh, no allowed uh. So this one uh, depends your site. Is it you want to set it or not? I think I would like to uh, thank you, Chen Pa, for the whole uh, presentation and the coaching for today. And also very thankful for all of you. The attendance is very good today. Hopefully, uh, in the very near future, we also uh, will come up with more topics like this, uh, like this section to, up, to update and upgrade. And we have a discussion to solve your issues. And uh, do support us. And also, if if like just now we mentioned, if you have any upgrade app issue, but first of all, you also need to re, uh, be reminded that to check whether your smart cover is still valid or not. <laughs> all right. Thank you everyone for your time. We'll end the section today now. Thank you. Thank you, Ayudis. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Have a, have a good weekend, everyone.